Hi everybody, it's me again. So today we're going to have a special video for um, you guys. It's going to be about how to make your own block based on a pattern. So this video, um, it was requested a couple times for different um, subscribers here. So I decided to do it this way, um, which a pattern. And then eventually we'll do the second part of this, but doing on um, a person or a mannequin or dress form with, through um, draping. So we're gonna do that um, here. But today is going to be um, on online patterns, basically. I was thinking to do it with a regular pattern, but the problem with regular pattern is sometimes it's hard for you guys to be able to get the pattern exactly or sometimes it's too expensive. I see it patterns can be $12, $6 and all that kind of stuff. These pattern that I got from um, Borda Style back home, um, it was under $5, but if you use a promotion code, uh, normally the price um, get reduced to $2 or $3. This video is not a sponsor by nobody, just me, basically. And if this video reach at least 50,000 um, view, I will give it away a couple of patterns, meaning the pattern I'm doing right now for a couple of you guys so you can follow with me the video and do everything. Um, I don't know if you say this video is going to be recorded in different days because it's a little bit long than normal. So before we start everything here, please watch this small video how you can win a brand new sewing machine here on my channel. The first step is going to be to subscribe to my channel. So you just go here and click here to subscribe. Okay, when you are right now on my website, this is my page. Um, for subscribe to my page, you're going all the way to the bottom of the page. At the bottom of the page, you will have my contact here and also you will have a subscribe area. You're going to put here your email so that way you can participate on the give it away for the sewing machine. So this is the way that you should subscribe. This step number three is just follow me on social media. My user is Gabby underscore Winkoff. I do have Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. And welcome back. So, uh, here have a couple things that I want to show you guys. I'm going to show you how you can um, buy the pot itself. And on my computer, I'm going to show you how to buy it. I'm going to show you um, how to print it which normally you would do it um, but right now we're going to do the picking the size for the person in this case I'm going to use this for my dress form um, I'm gonna put the measurements under here so you can guys can see um, what exactly I'm talking about when you go to the website, they have many different patterns. You will see an area they say uh, blocks. You're gonna click on that, and then you will see the different blocks they have. They have plus size, regular size, petite size, and all that good stuff. Then you do have a um, women's size chart based on inches or metric system. You're gonna choose the one that is close to you or you understand better. I'm going to use the um, inches because I'm here in America and that's the way normally people here understand more of that. Um, but whoever doesn't really get it, one inch is 2.5 centimeters. So basically that is the way that you can figure out things. But if you're not able to figure out things, just go with a system that you really understand the best. Now, my dress form um, is a size two. I will put a picture here so you can see my dress form. It's a size two. I just got it because um, my school changed um, some sizes and everything and everybody have to readjust it. So I do have two dress form on um, their size six. Um, and 
basically the same size everything except one is without the legs another one is does have the legs the new one is just a size two and no legs so i need to make the block for that one um for my personal use i don't use my school's um blocks besides school i just keep it just for school for many reasons so i don't want to have any issue with school I mean doing YouTube video so I'm not going to use those blocks for anything here that's the reason I'm doing this with you guys and that way we're gonna have a block and we can start working from those blocks and make um, blouse garments in general um, from those blocks so we can do that together an idea that I have um, so let me know down below if you are okay with it will be um, if this video reach 50,000 subscriber or um, 50,000 view or more people who watch this video put below um, a shirt or blouse or whatever that you want me to try to do and I will try to do that uh, replicate that type of garment with the block I'm not going to copy exactly the garment I think that's wrong but I will try to replicate many elements uh, from that um, blouse or whatever it is so that way we can practice together and all the good stuff so let me know what do you think about that so we can do that so back to the chart uh, this chart I have here in inches these charts have a different sizes so you're going to choose the sizes based on all the different options here but there will be only three ones major uh, measurements that you're going to do um, on the garments and everything so I'm gonna show you right now um, the three very specific measurements and how to take it and I will be right back okay so right now what we're going to do is take the measurement for the bus the first thing that you're going to need is a metric tape to measure all information um, and pen and paper if you need to write down this is another um, dress form this is not the dress form that I'm going to be using because right now I've been using that one for something else so I'm going to show you how to do it anyway so what you're going to do first if this is a human try to keep it stand up with the arms down so that way you can accurate measure everything so you're going to measure it first is going to be the bus basically the fullest part of the bus that's the part that you're going to do it okay guys so we right now we're going to take the measurements um, this is a dress form if it's a human try to make the person uh, be stand up no moving um, looking forward so that way the person's not going to change or move too much and another thing is try to keep the person comfortable so put yourself on the side don't put yourself in front because you will be able to measure everything try to use a tape measure like this retractable is more easy for you and have more control if it's not whatever you have so we're going to take here the measure from the bus and the waist so we're going to do it right now uh, we're going to take it from the fullest part um, make sure that the tape is level to the floor and then when you get in here try to make sure that you can, you, you can get the correct measurements which is 34 and a half that's what I have in this one then the waist it will be the same weight um, you're going to try to put it here is easy because you have a tape but normally the belly button is the one that you want to measure um, as the belly because as the waist sorry waist measurement because it's the one that have all the good information then the waist you gotta measure this way and now I'm going to show you how to take the hips measurement. For the hip measurements, you're going to do basically the same thing that you did. Um, you're going to try to take this part here, which is the part that have more volume in the person. So you're going to try to make the person comfortable and explain what you're going to do. And then measure that area. Make sure that is level to the floor. 
and take the measurements make sure that everything is correct but sometimes can be one side up one side down it should be something like this make sure write down the information so that way you have all the info that you need so now that we know uh, the measurements exactly that we need so you go here to the paper you're gonna choose bust which is the second one you're gonna um, choose the one then you're gonna choose the waist choose the waist and then you're gonna choose the hips this is the three measurements that you're going to really need um, for these type of garments to figure out which one is the one that you're going to take so when you do that you you can see if you are in between sizes or you can use a size in specific um normally i choose um and this one was 36 i thought 36 34 basically is the one that i kind of um think might work um for my dress form um normally what you want to do is you want to go um a bigger than smaller don't don't go exactly your size like if if you are in this chart you're perfect but i know normally people don't do, don't go exactly with these measurements these measurements normally are more for dress forms and things like that normally um with age body type and all the situations your body change so your body is not going to be exactly as the chart that we have here you might be let's say that you are um you you might have bigger hips so you have to blend from the waist to the hips or if you have um huge i don't know belly and uh, small breasts so you try to adjust that based on your real size so you have to blend all that so this chart is basically tell you which size is the correct one on the pattern itself okay so you can choose between those numbers choose the one that have more um numbers that uh close to you but if you have to run up this number try to go up okay now the next thing is the pattern itself the pattern itself um, you have to print all the patterns and when you print the pattern there will be a page that will have a um, square I will suggest to you before you print the whole thing print just that square and make sure that is what I say there so you are in the right track this is the block that i'm talking about this one here so this is supposed to be four by four by four by four this is what it's supposed to be but sometimes happen that the settings in your printer especially as a home printer that settings are wrong so you have to make sure that you print just this page this this page and change the settings take the paper measure with a ruler and make sure that is four by four by four sometimes you are not able to reach exactly four by four by four by four but if there is like one eight one sixteen off i think you might be okay um in that way but if it's more than that try to keep in playing with the settings in your um, printer so that way you are able to um um, get the correct garment because 1A 116 you can play a little bit with the seam allowance and all that kind of stuff and you can make it up um, in that sense but sometimes this block I mean this part here can be too small more than a quarter that is an issue because if you imagine um, garments uh, normally have four sides let's say that um, the seams in front and the seams in the back so if you add it or you take it a quarter you're talking about half each here half each ear 
um, so it's at one inch shore or over so you want to make sure um, that you have the correct size so you play with those settings and then you should be able to print it without any problem another option that you may have is print these type of print um, patterns in office like um i think office max um do that in some places you can print like a large um large um like a space like um you can print all these together like in large paper and there are some places that you can send it online and they will send you three or four days after they send it back to you the whole big paper i have done that before so that's going to be a really really good option if you're in america sorry if you're not in america i would really recommend you to print it yourself at home and um put it together the way i'm going to show you here another thing is the first page more than anything is about um the sizes you can see here have a different type of sizes and you can see here what you're getting you're getting the front the back and the arms that's exactly what you need because that is the block itself and this pattern itself doesn't have any number normally they do have like a number on um, they tell you what it is this one doesn't have that um but the name is here which is basic bodies and sleep lovers sleep slopper and then you do have the sizes that they have in the brand so this is the type of things that you're going to be looking for now another thing that you can do is they do have this uh, fashion figure very pretty i bought this this was extra you don't have to buy this but i bought this for me because i really want to know um, and this is just a fashion figure that you can draw on on it and you can put the swatches here the fabric that you're going to be using and you can put all the no notions here the size and everything this is going to be really good if you are a person who's starting and you want to um, design your own tops and things like that I think this is going to be something cool um, for young kids that try to learn to sew and things like that so before we started all this, I'm sorry, it's a lot of information. Um, I think I cover everything. Sorry. So yeah, so let's start now. I'm gonna show you how to put this um, pattern together and then we'll cut it and then we're going to use some kind of um, bore or this type of, let me show you. Manila paper. It's type of Manila paper, and we're going to transfer the block, the pattern itself. We're going to put in Manila paper. We're going to tape it down. We're going to cut it and transfer the information from the pattern itself to the Manila paper. Why you want to do that? Because the pattern itself is just paper. Manila paper. This is more hard and more stiff and because you're going to be tracing so much and you're going to be transferring so much information from this to regular paper, you really, really need um, some type of paper that can handle multiple use. So paper like this, it won't be able to handle that. So you really have to transfer to Manila paper. So I have this piece here. So we're going to be doing that. And um, for feeding, we're going to sewing a um, just the block itself. We're going to transfer all the information to fabrics itself, and we're going to sew in the whole um, body completely, sewing and put it together in the dress form. Okay, there's a lot of things to do. Thank you so much for still here, and let's start it.
Okay, so right now I just finished to put it um, all the pieces together. Um, this is the arm, as you guys can see right now. And this is the front and the back of the block. So what I'm going to do right now is tape down nicely everything blend all the lines and make sure that is not a huge gap um, between them and make sure that everything is uh, cut um, meaning um, sorry cutting on the outside um, at least half inch do not cut your side yet we're going to just cut everything upside and I'm going to show you in the end when I do all this Okay guys, so right now what I have done is taping down based on the letters, each one. So this is my back, this is my front. And here is the arm. Keeping in mind, uh, this is a very basic bodice. You will have a dart here in the arm, um, which is for your uh, elbow. And here you will have two darts. Um, around the waist this is the front like I say this is the back so what you're going to do is cut this out um, at least half each from every single uh, line the outline do not cut in your number yet that's going to be the last thing and um, even for cutting in that I will show you another way that you can save this and have multiple use
Okay, so we are here now. So we're going to start tracing off the pattern. So I'm going to explain to you real quick the idea of what we're going to do. So what we're going to do first is tra trace off this pattern before we make the block because in that way we can do the example and make sure that this pattern is the correct size for whoever we're sewing. In this case, this pattern, I'm going to trace off the size 36 because the 36 is very close to my dress form. So I'm going to um, copy this pattern, which is a size 36, and then make a pattern, regular pattern, this type of paper. And then we're going to sewing to make sure that it's fitting correctly the, um, the um, dress form. And then after we figure out, yes, this is the correct side, this is everything correct, we're going to trace off this pattern to the block. Okay, so right now we're going to, uh, going to teach you is basically how you tra trace off from this pattern. The first thing is you need to know what size is. Like I say, it's 36. And 36 is the first line, as you can see here, is the first line inside. So we're gonna looking for that line everywhere. It's, each um, line have a different type of shapes. Um, so you need to figure out that first. So for these, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a scissors for cutting paper. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a marker so you can mark everywhere the correct size so you don't get lost because you're going to put the paper on top and trace off. Then you're going to use a Sharpie or pencil. I would recommend you to use a pencil. I'm going to use a Sharpie, um, this type of Sharpie because I'm going to do this for you guys. I want that you guys see it. And then... You're going to transfer air, all the information. After we transfer all the information, we're going to add seam allowance and then cut it in fabric and do all the good stuff. So this part here right now, I'm going to do a little bit fast so you can guys can see how I do it. Okay, let's start it. Okay, so right now we do have Miss Puma visiting. She's in the windows. This is the place that she likes to be, so I don't want to bother her. So right now what I did is just trace off all the way around with the pink. Make sure that this dart is the kind of bowl out. Try to make sure that you catch that. Uh, this is the arm. I think this is the back. This area where is the dart. And one um, cut here is the front. Make sure that you cap this. You keep it. Um, that is the um, notch for the arm seam. So you cap that information. This is the back. So everything is marked with a pink mark. So right now what I'm going to do is transfer all this using a Sharpie and the ruler. But with this paper so i'm going to put piece by piece let me show you real quick i'm going to take one piece going to put it 
on top like this and I'm going to trace off the whole pattern which I can see the pink so I'm going to trace off all the patterns to this one and then in the end we're going to add seam allowance so I'm going to do this really quick and I would like that you guys enjoy this part too, okay? first one I want to show you something when you don't have a um, court ruler and you need to mark a um, shape that is curved what you can do is just point it with dart I mean with dots like this like this part here I did it with dots I don't know if you can guys can see it you can do it with dots on so that way you don't have to um, do the whole thing so basically the idea is that you trace off all the parts of the paper now that I have this part I'm gonna show you how you're gonna add the seam allowance and basically everything is the same way you just need to do this and then trace off all the parts and then do the um, the pattern and then add the seam allowance. So I'm going to do add the seam allowance off the camera and I'm going to trace off the rest of the um, patterns, okay? Okay guys, so for the arm is here. The arms, we're going to do it a little bit different, okay? You do have to measure the arm, the whole arm from the shoulder, elbow and risk so you have to measure all this part of the arm and that way you know the length which normally will be the front here to here that's the length so you can do that and sew in the whole pattern i personally don't like so much um doing that so what we're going to do we're going to do half cap here because you really want to know that the cap fit nicely so what you can do you can use your marker and the um, ruler. You're gonna measure three inches from the this area here, the corner of the um, for the bicep. Basically, you're gonna measure three inches here. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Try uh, do a line, and we're going to sew in this to the body. So in that way. You don't have to use all this because if this part normally fit, this part it should be nice, okay? Um, the only thing is if your arm is less than 24 inches, um, measure from here your length and then reduce whatever you need to reduce, okay? So 24 inches normally is a very standard. I'm 24 inches and normally um, women's arm, especially if you're a five, six and taller normally that's a good size so we're going to do this very quick so you guys can see it so i take the ruler i'm going to put the ruler three inches down that will put me here and then i will take the other side and put three inches down that would put me here and then i want to do a line this way Hold on, need a longer ruler. And then we're going to do this. Connect both points. And we'll be ended up like this. This is what you're looking for to do. So now we'll take a piece of paper, put it over, trace everything. Another tip to tracing things. Um, I don't know if I tell you this guys. You can put, if your table is like this, this is double table, at my, the bottom table is white and then this on top. Um, you can put a white paper under 
and then put the piece and then put the paper that you want to trace on top and you, you can see everything bright you can see everything better so what I'm going to do I'm going to put one of the patterns that is white put it under so that way I can see everything um, clear here let me see and then take the paper I'm gonna cut the paper that I need. I try to use cheap paper, paper that nobody really use, nobody really cares so much. So you can play with this paper and it's not super expensive for you. And then put it on top like this. And then use things that you have in your house as weight. I use these type things. I do have um washes i do have all this stuff to use as weight um i just basically use this so i'm going to finish this and then i'm going to show you all the patterns and the grade line and everything okay see you next time okay guys so we already trace all this into here so now that we do that we already now can start doing a couple of things we're going to label this one so that way we know what we're doing and put the grain lines I already a couple of them have a red grain line so i'm going to review that with you guys so i'm going to put this on this side the first one that i'm going to put the grain line is going to be the arm this is the way it should be looking keep it in mind it's three inches so this one i'm going to do a straight grain line here and just straight grain line now we need to put some information so you can check my video about um, um stamp so i'm going to put this stamp here then i'm going to put this stamp which is is working pattern added seam and i'm going to put my name which is this one here so as you can see, the pattern will look like this with all the information. So we're going to fill out the information here. Season style, we don't have anything for that, but this is a block. Style, we're going to put here dress form. Piece is the arm hole. Size. The size that will come from this paper, remember, is going to be 36. You can put borda and cut two. We need two of this. So we're going to do that, put in here. Then we're going with, unfold this thing. I want to keep it folding. The front, remember there's a dart. You have to fold the dart and through the dart. And we're going to do the same thing. This is the grain line. Normally, I'm sorry, this is wrong. It's supposed to be cut on full. So this is something nice. What you can do for that is going here to the border. I'm going to do a new grain line. And then do this. I'm going to show you here. Put the arrow point into the center form and do this to this one like this so that way you don't confuse yourself so i don't know if you guys can see that. i just put x on this and this is the correct grain line which is cut on foil um if you don't remember put here cut on full now you're gonna put the same information same stamps so in that way you get all the info here you're going to transfer the information like you did the other one season is block style dress form piece um front size 36 border cut one because it's on full now the back have the grain line already keep it in mind there's a dart 
there's a center back here and you do have a seam so you have to sew the seams or whatever it is something else that you can do you can add um, like an each one each here to have extra space to try and you can do that but I only going to do this like half inch but most likely you're going to cut um, one inch so that way you have space to troubleshooting any issue this is the green line we're going to put the same information again and transfer all the info here okay so next we're going to cut this from fabric which is going to be muslin fabric and sewing and try on the dress form. <laughs> 